Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to your review of Sergeant High Gear. Now before we get into your review, I'd just like to thank you guys for voting on the voting poll I made earlier this week. Sergeant High Gear received the most votes and therefore is being reviewed today. And now since the voting system went so well last week, I made a second one that will determine the video on Saturday, January 16th. So feel free to vote, the link is down in the description below, and I believe I have 24 or so options with a variety of different videos. So thanks again for voting, I really appreciate it. Now let's get into your view of this amazing diecast that we've been waiting for for at least 4 years. So he was supposed to get released in 2012 in a deluxe case but that case got cancelled so we didn't see him released and actually the Cars Encyclopedia book included them even though he didn't get released. They said that he was released as a deluxe in 2012 and he actually never got released. So that's a little ironic there and it's just basically because that book was published before the case was officially cancelled. So at least they did show him in the book and they showed a prototype image along with some other information. Now he obviously appeared with the Queen or before that scene with the Queen when Mater and McQueen are entering Buckingham Palace and Mater is about to get I guess titled Sir To Mater. So there are several Sergeant High Gears but they just chose this one to be released and actually named him before the movie came out. I believe he had a picture and a bio and all that stuff so I'm very surprised it took this long for him to get a release. Now the Cars Encyclopedia book has some details stated like this is a tunic collar for Sergeant High Gear. This is a belt buckle supposed to resemble a belt buckle and this is the brass head strap that connects the British guard hat to his chin there so very very similar to what an actual British guard would look like. He also has his rifle right here with the bayonet on the end which is very very nicely detailed. I really like how that is. It is a little flexible but I wouldn't re recommend trying to like bend it that much because it might come off. However it does look pretty sturdy. It is kind of attached to the strap right here and it's not attached to the wheel as it kind of seems to be but it is not. Now his hat here seems hollow and is just black plastic. It is textured a little bit though and just I love this car. I love how they outlined his eyes there in silver. It looks really nice and just kind of gives a nice defiance to him. And on the back here, he's got a license plate that reads GRENGD1. He's got this logo right here. And according to the Cars Encyclopedia book, he is a 1962 Land Rover Series IIA and is basically the same as Maurice Welks here with very slight differences. They are the same model essentially, but there are those differences here and then that make them different. For example, Sergeant High Gear has this moth plate here which allows the belt buckle to be attached on there, whereas Maurice just doesn't have that. It has more of a larger moth plate that is just kind of this whole front piece right there. But other than that, really the headlights are very similar, the silver around the eyes are similar, the size is exactly the same. And I honestly do not understand why they made the license plates on these guys so similar. I mean, look at this. We've got GREN GD1 and GREN GD2. Now, it clearly means that they decided to make the license plates different, but I just don't understand why they couldn't have gone the further effort to make them a little bit more different than that because I, I really don't understand why they'd be that similar. I mean, I know they're both Land, Land Rovers and appeared in the same scene about like in London, but they're just completely different characters. And if you guys aren't aware, the Disney Store actually released a Sergeant High Gear a lot earlier, I believe back in 2013 or maybe even 2012. And as you can see, there's quite a few differences. We're all not really a big fan of the Disney Store eyes, and this one is a pretty good example of the bad eyes for the Disney Store cars, but the rest of them is pretty nice. His uh, top hat here actually is felt. 
and is very soft and like you could like feel the texture on it so that's a nice added detail and this guy feels a lot heavier than the Mattel one but the, the Mattel one just has those details that you can see like in the headlights there you could just see a little bit more detail and especially in the back here the Disney Store version just kind of skipped out on the license plate and some logos there in the back but um, Mattel did not and I'm not a big fan of Disney Store windows they just kind of make them gray and Mattel actually has like a plastic insert in there which dif uh, differentiates the two a little bit more but the rifles are basically the same there not really too much added detail a little bit actually more detail in the Disney Store version if you look in the front here the the front of the rifle but uh, other than that, they're pretty different, yet they do have a few similarities. My favorite is definitely the Mattel version because just of the expression and the more details. But I also really do like the felt hat on the Disney Store version. So tell me in the comment section below what version of Sergeant High Gear is your favorite. And that is basically all for Sergeant High Gear. I received this guy as a Christmas present this year, and if you'd like to buy one yourself, there are several on eBay from China sellers for around $10 or so. So in my opinion, a pretty good deal because most likely he'll be sold as a deluxe. So there's only a few dollar difference between $10 and the deluxe price at some stores. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys tomorrow for a suggestion video. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.